Hey guys, welcome to the next vlog that I'm doing, which is gonna be all about my upcoming trip to the US to see my girlfriend Shannon. I'm spending four weeks there. We've got loads planned. We're gonna be doing loads of traveling. I'm gonna be taking you through what I get up to like in a day-to-day -day life, what I eat when I'm over there, how I train, where I train, all that kind of stuff. Basically me living in the US. Lots of bits and pieces in between as well. Some fun stuff. You get some, you get to see how like you're chill. I don't even know what really the plans are, but you know what I mean. So yeah, flying now to Atlanta and then connecting flight from Atlanta to Nashville, which is where Shannon's based. It's gonna be an awesome trip. I'm super, super excited. Don't usually vlog, as you can tell, my last YouTube video was I think the last time I went to the US. I tend to just do it when I'm traveling because it's a bit more exciting, isn't it? You don't, I just, my life in London is exciting, just not as exciting as when I go and travel. And I think if I was to show you my vlog in London, you'd be like, wow, this dude lives a pretty boring life. He just eats, trains, and works on his business and coaches people. So there's a little bit more than that. Who knows, maybe I'll continue this when I'm back. But yeah, this is gonna be a lot more interesting and I'm really excited to take you along with me. So my Uber's outside, gonna go to the airport, get the show on the road. Haven't seen my girlfriend for six weeks. Long distance relationship. This is the longest we've been without seeing each other since we met a year ago. Six weeks is a long time, so very excited to see her. I know Shannon's excited to see me. And that's it, enough of the mushy stuff, let's go. I'll tell you what, I'm flying Virgin to Atlanta and then I get an interconnecting flight from Atlanta to Nashville just because it's the, the easiest route. And Virgin Atlantic have done some serious jobs on, I think I'm on a new plane, but like, look, this is their business class seat. You get your own little booth, you've got like a door which you can shut for privacy, nice big TV. It's all right, you know? Touchdown in Nashville. Finally arrived 11, 12 hours later because I had to get a connecting flight. But Shannon is picking me up in her new old school pickup truck which I'm very excited about getting in. Apparently it's pretty tricky to drive. Um, so yeah, finally made it, we're here. We're in the whip <laughs> with the main gal. Well, who's the side gal? <laughs> <laughs> this thing is so old school. This is just to make sure that the car doesn't break down. Which who could be too sure? Look at that radio. It's an AM. Wowza. Got a speaker up there so we can listen to RT. Yeah. Popping in for some ramen. Ramen. Well, apparently the, the best uh, ramen in town. It really is. It's happened to be across from us now. I'm gonna blow it up like a puff pigeon. <laughs> looks rammed. <laughs> Yeah, you slip it up. Good morning. So it is 6.25. Can you see that? Woke up at about 5.30 from the jet lag. But the beauty thing about here is that it is pretty much broad daylight now um, at this time. First day in Nashville. Shannon is... pretending to be asleep. She's been up for an hour as well. I don't want to get up. <laughs> Shannon isn't, would you describe yourself as not a morning person? I like morning, I just not as morning as you. You, you like staying in bed for the morning? I like, I like the skin to be things in bed. Yeah, she's like a slow, a slow gradual riser. I'm like up straight away, down a big glass of water and want to, want to get to it. So it's really cool, we're staying in this apartment here right in the center of Nashville. And they've got a really cool swimming pool below me. So every morning I've made a pack for myself when I get up. I'm gonna try and get up at like 5.36 a.m. here, um, just because I love getting like a bit of me time in the morning. And I'm gonna take you through my routine that I do. But I think it's really important to have that bit of me time before you get settled into your day and start working and stuff. But I'm gonna do some lengths of the pool every single morning. It's a shame I'm on the west side because the sun rises on the east side. So normally I get my morning kind of sunlight. So I'm gonna to have to try and see if there's a rooftop here or something to do that. Um, Shannon at some point will come with swimming with me, right? No. Perfect. 
So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go down, do some lengths. Um, Shannon was really like such a good girlfriend. She bought loads of food um, and has just stocked the fridge. I'll show you. Um, it's just so nice of her for me to arrive with a fridge full of food. Just lots of San Pellegrino. By the way, I'm completely joking. She hasn't done any food shopping, but to be fair, um, she wasn't meant to. Is this your alcohol in the fridge? So we're gonna do a big food shop as well. Shannon and I have made a pact this month because it's June and it's summer and we're gonna you know, have our kids off and stuff. We are on a serious health kick this month, aren't we? Did you just say about our kids? I didn't say kids, I said health kick. <laughs> What's <laughs> wrong with you? So you can tell she's not a morning person. <laughs> So we're on a serious health kick this month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loads of buying food, cooking. Boiled chicken, broccoli, no seasoning, no fun, no happiness, only shredded bodies. Yeah, there we go. Um, right, let me take you downstairs. Shannon did not tell me that there is a gym in the apartment. That is great news. We're gonna, I'm gonna join another gym anyway, but this is... Why did she not tell me this? I guess she probably didn't come down and have a look. Great, well, that's my uh, swimming plans out the window. I don't think the swimming pool opens until, well, not now anyway. So I'm gonna do some cardio instead, gentle cardio, because there's also a cardio room, which Shannon failed to tell me about as well. So I'm gonna do a bit of exercise and then uh, I think we need to go grab some food, do a big food shop and get some breakfast on. You didn't tell me about the freaking gym. It's a decent gym. It's got everything in there. And there's a cardio room as well. You, 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 zero mention of a gym in this building. I wanted you to be surprised on your own. I wanted it to be a sweet little treat for you. I was going to wait until you were having a bad day and then I was going to say, go look down the street. <laughs> Everywhere we go, I need to know if there's a gym in the vicinity. False alarm, the swimming pool is open. It should usually be open at six, but the guy had a lie and he's now opened it. So I am gonna go do some lengths after Shannon makes me coffee. Will you put some clothes on, young lady? There's, there's, a, there's some filming going on now. I'm gonna have to, normally she walks around naked, I'm gonna have to sort that out. We've got, okay, well actually, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run through some of the stuff we've got. Okay. Shannon's a little, got a little cough, so that's what that's for. Okay, so eggs, great superfood for the morning. Bottled water with uh, electrolytes. electrolytes in it. Stay hydrated, obviously. Blueberries, superfood, tomatoes, great. Culture yogurts. It's cottage cheese, actually. Cottage cheese, very high in protein. Coconut water, great for hydration. Orange juice, I think that's Shannon's. Why do you have to say that when it's something that's got sugar in it? Why are you gonna say, no, that's Shannon's? Oh, orange <laughs> juice, that's definitely Shannon's. <laughs> oh, something for her throat, definitely Shannon's. <laughs> Like what? Grass-fed organic whole milk. That you definitely bought just because the package looks more healthy. <laughs> Peanut butter Dollar because more. it's good. Bread for the mornings. Potatoes, cheap, very good way to stay full. Asparagus, because we're gonna have steaks tonight. And smelly pee later. Um, okay, uh, Greek yogurt. Doesn't taste that good by itself, but nice when you put other stuff in it. Oats, good for the mornings. Bit of uh, sugary granola, that's Shannon's. And then I actually bought this myself, ashwagandha. This is, um, I've been taking this, it's like from a mushroom extract and it helps reduce cortisol levels. So if you're stressed, it's quite good to, and because I'm now with Shannon. Like, okay. <laughs> this bitch and sauce, never heard of that, but I think that's yours. It's well. definitely yours because you're always <laughs> bitching. Bananas. Oh, this potassium. is the best salt ever. That is the best salt ever. It's Malden sea salt flakes. Ooh, flaky salt. Butter, just good dairy butter. None of this vegan. That goes in my cottage cheese still. And then I also bought some magnesium tablets because I've been taking magnesium uh, before I go to bed and it has been making me sleep like a baby because it's a muscle relaxant. And, and all of this was one million dollars. One million dollars. No, guess how much it was. Well, you won't be able to because yeah, I'm we're... to tell you. <laughs> so what was it, $250? Two, yeah, around 260 $260. But the price of putting good things in your body. True, priceless. Yep. And we haven't, but we haven't even got steaks. Fish, yeah, we haven't chicken, got the, the actual meat yet. The meat, so TBD. A quick little breakfast that I've mustered up in here: banana, peanut butter, bit of granola, blueberries, um, 
That's it. Greek yogurt as well. You put milk on top of Greek yogurt? Yeah. Because I've got the, the granola in there. Okay, okay, okay. You do you, you, you do you, boo. And then, so that took me five minutes. This will keep me full for a couple of hours. Very high in protein, got your fruit in there. This is my ashwagandha pills that I'm taking to help my cortisol levels. And then I have some lion's mane mushroom, and this is from my supplement company that I'm bringing out in a, well, a week's time. By the time you watch this video, actually, my supplement company will be out and live. I've been taking these for a good couple of months. They improve your concentration and your focus, and they are incredible. So I'm excited to be trying those. I'm gonna have two of those, two of those, bosh. That's my little recipe. Little workout today. We've got the gym in the uh, apartment complex. Today, doing legs with some push. So like a push upper lower body. I'm just going heavy on split squats. I'll be doing a lot of the uh, running. <laughs> I'm sorry, I find it so boring. <laughs> oh, this isn't for you. Okay. Um, I'm doing a lot of uh, uh, unilateral work to strengthen up my legs in balance balances. I'll just take around, we're going to do a little session. Uh, so it's, a bit to start. it's good to do legs at the start as well, if you're doing legs and upper body, because then you get out of the way. It's the most taxing exercise, uses the most amount of energy. So. So this is a typical breakfast that I'll be having probably pretty much every morning. Avocados, good fat, tomatoes, vitamin C, bread, and then my eggs. I'll then wash it down with a protein shake, which has got creatine in it as well. And then I'll wash it down with some granola, blueberries, banana, and peanut butter, and a bit of whole milk. So generally speaking, out here, I'm trying to wake up at about 5.30, 5.45 in the morning. I'll do about 10-15 minutes of journaling and then 10-15 minutes of reading <clears throat> and then I always try and get some sort of like exercise whether it's a walk outside here I'm doing swimming because we have the pool downstairs and the reason why I do this routine is it's this 20-20-20 routine so it's meant to be 20 minutes of journaling 20 minutes of reading and then 20 minutes of exercise and it's from the book the 5am club which I read not too long ago and since doing it and since just waking up early, my whole entire day has just been so much more productive because I've managed to like get the important stuff done, like personal work done first thing in the morning. So it's not like I'm waking up at 5.30 and going straight into sitting down at my desk and working. That's not very good for you because it increases your cortisol levels quite quickly and causes you to be quite stressed. Um, so it's just kind of like a chance for a bit of me time um, before everyone else wakes up, you know, whilst Shannon's still snoring in bed. Hey, and this whole, whole vlog is a piss take. <laughs> um, and I've just found it's really, really effective. It's obviously easier when you live in a country or you're in a country where the sun rises pretty early and it's sunny by that time. Definitely harder in the evenings when it's cold, dark and wet. Um, and then after that, I'll get some food, as you've just seen now, and get cracking with a bit of work. Um, and then I'll train, tend to train, we're trying, trying to train either like mid-morning or sort of lunchtime. I don't really like training first thing in the morning, especially if I'm lifting weights. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much my, my morning routine, which I'm trying to stick to. And if ever you want to be more productive or you need to get more stuff done or you're running out of time, just go to bed earlier and wake up earlier. We're, we're going to bed at about 9.30, 10 o'clock here. So you still get your full eight hours and you naturally just wake up and yeah, and that's that. Just heading to do a workout with one of Shannon's friends, Worth, who owns his own gym called True Mav. Um, it's a nice little gym, so we're gonna do, I think, a little pool day today. So working back, a bit of arms, maybe some hamstrings. So yeah, nice to change up. Don't get me wrong, love training with Shannon, but it's nice to just have some, you know, bro time, get the testosterone fired up and you know, all that nonsense. Okay, so here with Worth, big man, owner of the gym, friend of Shannon for how long? Been so long there, there. Maybe seven years. And you've had this gym for four and a half. Yeah, nice. So the perks of uh, knowing a gym guys, we get to train here for free. We're doing full day today, back, biceps, bit of hamstrings. We'll probably get our shirts off in about 20 minutes and show you guys a bit of the workout. So, yeah, sounds good. Shannon's new house is being built, which is going to be ready in July. It's 20 minutes outside. 
of Nashville. As you can tell, we are not in the Ford because <laughs> we had to swap Shannon's car with her friend Taylor's because Beautiful because car. because Shannon didn't want to take the Ford on the highway because it w could possibly blow up if it goes more that than 60 miles an hour. True. So um, a very practical car that she bought. <laughs> Um, it took us an extra 15 minutes to do all that detour. Oh, are you gonna be okay, Snooker? <laughs> but now we're on our way. So, I'm gonna show you what our house looks like. This is the nuts thing. Started building it in January from scratch. It's almost gonna be done. The last time it. James saw it, it was just dirt. It was just a lot. Yeah. So, it's very exciting. It's so cute to have a picture of us standing on the lot. Where? Now? I have a picture of us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so last time we were here, this was the complete soil. Look at it now. Right, so you know how Shannon got this car? Yeah, it's all it's really cool. It's a really cool car, right? It is the biggest headache. It doesn't start multiple times. The other time in the underground car park, it sounded like it was about to blow up. Now we're about to drive home and we've had to put up in the channel spot. And now she wants me to push it, push it up the driveway. And we're just gonna have to get Ubers everywhere. Life is good, don't we worry. Yeah, life is good, but this car is not. True. Waste. All right, you're gonna have to really... Ubers arrived take us home also we failed to push it up the hill because it's on a slope and that thing weighs a ton uh, or you just don't have big enough muscles <laughs> this just oh this is what i miss when i'm in london sunshine every day out here and i know there's obviously seasons but the summer just lasts for ages and it's nice enough to sit outside several times during the day to get that vitamin d and for me personally, some people don't mind it, but I thrive when I'm able to get sunlight, sunlight exposure and be in the sun. I've learned that it's better to get sun exposure first thing in the morning and later in the afternoon when the sun's setting to avoid like high UV because you don't want to get burnt. I've also been re doing a lot of reading about, this is becoming a bit of a science lesson by the way, I've also been doing a lot of reading about how sunglasses are actually really bad to wear in the sun particularly like if you're directly lying in the sun because what it does is it tricks your mind and and your eyes think you're in the shade so then your body is not releasing the right amount of chemicals to protect your skin from the sun so if you're wearing sunglasses and sunbathing all day wearing sunglasses your body thinks you're in the shade so that's why a lot of people get burnt wearing sunglasses so i've been trying to wear sunglasses a lot less and let the UV go into my eyes so that my body can do the right thing in terms of protecting my skin. Another thing I've been reading a lot about as well is sun cream and how bad a lot of sun creams are for you because they're full of chemicals, cheap chemicals that when you're lying in the sun and all your pores are open are absorbing into your skin and, and are incredibly harmful for our bodies. There's lots of good sun cream out there. I think there's one called like Gloop or something which is like organic sun cream but in reality, humans shouldn't really be wearing sun cream. You should just be staying out of the sun like animals in the middle of the day, peak times when the UV uh, rays are really high and the sunlight is highest in the sky and you should only go out in the mornings and the evenings. Now, obviously not everyone can do that. And so if you can't avoid that, you know, wearing protective clothes and stuff is beneficial. And if you need to wear good, proper, organic sun cream that's not full of chemicals to protect your skin, just, I mean, look, this is all stuff that I've just been reading about and doing a bit more research on. You know, I'm not necessarily saying it's um, completely, you know, by the book and, and completely true, but it certainly makes sense to me in my eyes that we shouldn't be lathering ourselves up with this chemically infused sun cream. So I'm trying to wear a lot less sun cream now, but stay out of the sun during peak hours. Anyway, this is beautiful. So every day I'm trying to get sunshine in the morning and then sunshine late afternoon and it's just oh, it just finds it so good for my mood even just sitting outside for like 20 minutes so yeah there's my little soliloquy over hope you enjoyed it <laughs> and here's a little fun fact for you morning sun exposure so as soon as you wake up 
whether you go outside for a walk in the sun or whether you're looking into the sky, not directly at the sun, but it causes around about a 50% increase in cortisol levels, in epinephrine and dopamine. And this leads to an increase in mood, immune system function and energy levels. So get your morning sun exposure in, it is a game changer. It's another fine morning in Nashville. And we're on a early morning walk, it's about 6 a.m. Shannon with her chai tea latte. It's a dirty chat, baby. Dirty chat, the shot of espresso, crazy. This is your first dancing with me in the morning, but I'm trying to get up super early, get outside into the sunshine. Make sure you remind them that the sugary orange juice is mine, that this is the first time I'm up at 6 a.m. with you. <laughs> Um, no, you get up, but you just, because you've been ill, you've just been in bed. You're just hacking up shit. Just, just ha hacking away with your throat. It's nice so, yeah. Time alone time there. It is, agreed. A little 20 minute walk, get the steps up in early, get that sun shining early. No, Feel good. no more sunglasses. No more sunglasses. I actually gave them a little, little oh, talk about that. Yeah, about all the. Actually, well, what I didn't mention is, which I was reading about yesterday, is the melanin that you release when the sun goes into your eyes to protect your skin and if you've got sunglasses on you don't release the melanin that's when you get burnt especially for someone like you with your little fair skin dude. okay uh bill and i had a science guy over here yeah are there people in that truck no they're freaky it's the party bus ready for a weekend in nashville Really peaceful morning <laughs> walk, listening to the birds. <laughs> Got Shannon singing party rock and then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I finished up all my hacking. Yeah. This is so nice. See, the, the reason why like something like this makes me so happy in doing this is because, again, it's just like, it's a bit different. Like you imagine London going for a walk in London. Obviously, we've got parks there and stuff, but it's a bit different when you're walking through like a busy, crowded, hectic city. Yeah. It's not that relaxing. Whereas That's here, true. That's true. although you can hear there's some construction. Oh, there's the construction. It's just like it's a bit more relaxing in the morning. Yeah. Wait till we get to Franklin. You'll really be relaxed and be quiet. <laughs> Become a yogi. Yeah. Look. I like I like that weight center right there. That'd be what I <laughs> Nice guys. <laughs> ourselves a boat day here. Uh, this is, babe, what lake is this? Shannon, what lake is this? Percy Priest. Percy Priest. We're on, we're on Percy Priest. All the boats are out. Everyone's uh, in the sunshine, partying. And yeah, we're just gonna spend the whole day on the water. I freaking live for this shit. blankets and pillows and we'll just take like night cruises but it actually doubles as wait for it it's the most shannon boat ever it doubles as a bar but wait there's more it's got bar stools bitch <laughs> Taylor's making fun of me vlogging, per usual. I'm gonna take us on a big yacht one day because I'm gonna be YouTube famous. I hope so. <laughs> Look, and then, okay, I'll spare us the details because I'm about to put this back down because we're pulling back in the marina. But we just all hang up here, Taylor. Is the bar on the boat not the coolest thing ever? It is. I can vouch for that. I've gotten drunk on it three times. Three times, <laughs> specific. It is. Turn around, let's see the other side. Show the ass. There you go. Come to the free ass. Comes with free ass. No, but it's really cool. And I really love it. It's fun. It's great. Maybe I'll keep it up actually so the birds don't shit on my bed. Yeah. That'll be nice. Tonight we are heading out for dinner to celebrate our one year anniversary. Oh yeah. Because when it happened we were not together. Exactly. And so we decided we gotta go out and celebrate and do something nice. So we're going to the place, the restaurant called The Optimist, where I told Shannon that I loved her 
and she desperately sell it back to me oh could, no I really did actually <laughs> I was desperate to tell I took you. my time anyway I won't get into why that. did you take your time because we're really in this now <laughs> vlog no because I I think because I wanted to make, make sure it was like real and true I didn't want to rush it you know I like that yeah so yeah we're gonna go grab some dinner the food here is insane so it's a special place for us all the oysters all the aphrodisiacs cheers to you baby okay I was just saying to Shannon, I realised that half of this vlog is going to be all about food. Three fourths of the vlog. <laughs> it's I like just, your workout and food. I love food, so I just want to show you some of the good food we're having. Wait before you start, I want to show them. All right, guys. So that is the first vlog of my arrival and, and first week in the US done. I'm going to be doing several more. Shannon and I have got lots of awesome trips lined up for the next two, three weeks. We're going to be doing some really cool things. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you did, please give it a like. Please subscribe. Share it with your mates if they're incredibly bored and want to fill some time to watch. And yeah, see you at the next one. Thank you for watching.